I know a lot of my viewers are curious about topic hair fibers and also some of the products that I use with my hair. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering some subscriber questions. Hey my fellow follicle frontiersmen, it's DJ from Carrots and Brotherhood. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed today's content, consider clicking that subscribe button and also click the little bell to turn on notifications. That way you can be one of the first to be notified whenever I upload new content. So the first question I want to talk about is, do I use topic hair fibers every day? And the answer is absolutely. I use topic hair fibers anytime I need to leave the house or if I'm expecting company to come by the house. Um, and it's simply because hair fibers fibers give you a sense of confidence, especially if you have really thinning hair or if your hairline is receding. And so whenever I go out, I like the confidence that it gives me. I'll admit that I'm still a bit insecure about, you know, my, my thinning hair. So when I go out, I like to just not even worry about that. Uh, I don't want people asking me about, you know, like why is it thin on the top and not on the sides. If you're one of those people that are wondering if there's any health concerns about using hair fibers every day, I can't give you a definitive answer about other hair fibers. I do know that Topic is 100% is natural keratin. It's clear Clearly stated on the website, they, they stand by that product guarantee. If it is 100% keratin fibers that you're using, not just Topic, but other brands as well, I mean, it's keratin and that, that protein is, is a naturally occurring protein and not, in, well, not only our hair, but pretty much any animal that has hair. Now, there are some knockoff hair fibers out there and you can find these hair fibers and you know they're knockoff because price point is a bit too good to be true. Now, I haven't tried any of these fibers. Uh, but I've read reports that some of these fibers contain chemicals that are harsh on the skin and can act as an irritant and can cause like redness or itching or even in some cases peeling or burns depending on how those fibers were processed. So I can't stand by any of those products that I haven't used and I told you guys I'm 100% transparent when it comes to this type of stuff. Uh, the only hair fibers that I have used is Topic. As long as, long as the hair fibers that you're using are promoted as 100% keratin, uh, you should be okay. Tell me in the comments section, do you use Topic hair fibers or Febron hair fibers or whatever hair fibers you use? Do you use them every day? And if so, how has it been for you? How long have you been using them? And if you have experienced any kind of like adverse effects? The next question, does Topic make my scalp itch? I'm gonna be honest with you, it does itch occasionally, um, but I, I can't say that it's necessarily, I can't say it's necessarily because of the Topic that it's itching. I try not to wear my hair fibers beyond, you know, a day. Um, so I put them in the morning and then I wash them out in the evening. But depending on the, the conditions, whether humidity or sweat, uh, I guess it could, you know, my scalp could itch. Now, is it caused by the hair fibers? I can't say. I mean, there's a correlation. I mean, my hair, I'm wearing hair fibers and my hair is itching. So I could draw a connection there. I, can, I can't sit here and tell you that it's caused by the topic hair fibers. Now, I will say that if you wear hair fibers for like two days or three days, and I'm not gonna wear them for seven days at a time. But I noticed that if I did wear them for two or three days, yeah, my head, my head would start itching. Um, especially on the crown area where I apply topic hair fibers the most, my scalp would actually start itching. Uh, but there was, that was, it, was, it wasn't like redness or, or peeling or anything, but it, it does itch. And the third question I get, surprisingly more often than you might think, is do the oil pomades in the topic clog your pores? I'm not a dermatologist and I don't want to, you know, sit here and pretend like I'm an expert uh, with anything related to skin. When it comes to oil products, firstly, if you've purchased some of the products that I, you know, talked about, like the pomades or, you know, some of the argan oils, firstly, thanks for, you know, trying out the products. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about them? How have they worked for you? Now, when it, when it comes to like the hair pomades, like uh, the black castor oil, the argan oil, they rank really low on their tendency to block the pores. And that's good. And actually you can see the rating scale for these products here. Well, basically uh, it's, a, it's a scale zero to five with five being the highest um, and zero being the lowest. If you're closer to the five side, then these products are going to clog your pores and have run a high risk of causing you know, breakouts like acne. So if you have really oily skin, generally you want to stay away from products that are beyond a two. So you want to stay away from three, fours, and fives. The argan oil, which is like the main oil that I use these days, uh, the, the argan oil ranks as a zero, meaning there's little to no risk for anybody to break out using argan oil. And the same thing, black castor oil ranks as a one, uh, which means that some people could break out, but it's highly unlikely that the general users would break out um, in any type of like acne. So these are the two main oils that I, that I try to use on my scalp. Will the oils and the pomades that I recommend to you clog your pores? Probably not, okay? It depends on your own skin type. If you have a really oily skin and have a tendency toward breaking out acne to begin with, then you have to consider that when you talk about putting more oil onto your skin. For me, I don't necessarily have a really oily scalp and so it doesn't affect me as much and I have had pretty much no problems 
using any of the products, okay? That concludes today's question and answer series. Consider sharing the video.